Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Morgan. And I'm Nala. It's Thursday, April 12th, National Colorado Day, National Big Wind Day, National Licorice Day, and National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. All students in grades 10 through 12, you have an opportunity to sign up for a free career of exploration test called the ASVAB on Thursday, April 26th. The ASVAB assesses academic ability and predicts success in a whole variety of careers. The best part about the ASVAB is the one-on-one -on -one coaching that will be available the following week after the test. Please drop into the Career Center and sign up today. For those interested in a possible career in culinary, there is an opportunity to attend a master class at the Cascade Culinary Institute of Central Oregon Community College on April 20th from 9 to 12 p.m. There are only 20 spots available. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are welcome. Stop by the CCC to learn more. Next Monday night, April 26th at 6 p.m. in the Skybox, the International Studies Program Spring Break 2019 course will hold its first class meeting if you signed up for this credit earning class during forecasting, plan to bring a parent and attend this mandatory meeting. And if you're interested in traveling to Belize during Spring Break 2019, whether you're interested in earning credit or not, everyone is invited to attend this informational meeting. The Ridgeview Drama Department is presenting its Improv Night, Who's Raven Now, this Friday and Saturday night. Come laugh and have some fun. It's a hilarious, family-friendly show. Performances are this Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. You can get tickets here. <laughs> tickets are $3 for students and kids, $5 for adults. Tickets can also be purchased the day of the performance. In the face of yesterday's harrowing fire drill lunch experience, we at the Ravens Report were keenly aware that this was not the first time an event like this has happened here at Ridgeview. Before we check in with updated details from yesterday's event, we have a package that covers the previous time this happened. Some of you remember this. Let's go back in time to September of 2015. This is Inside Access with Alexander Palacios. The bell had rung, the halls were empty, and students were out of the building. But this was no ordinary afternoon. It may not look like it now, but yesterday, this parking lot was the scene of chaos. Cars were bumper to bumper, students were crowded around, and the fear was palpable. The same question was on everyone's mind. What was going on? Nobody knew what was going on. I was just hanging out. I'm pretty sure everybody thought that somebody pulled the fire alarm. If only it were a false alarm. As tensions rose outside, students started to get the idea that this was no drill. Indeed, there was a fire and we were all in danger. Inside Access investigated the reports, and early indications are that the epicenter of the disaster is right here, right behind me, the culprit, this seemingly benign and delicious moviegoer's treat. But this was no movie. Because there were no witnesses, Inside Access had a professional artist create a dramatic reenactment of what might have occurred. As we all know, popcorn does not pop itself. There needs to be a human element. The person responsible has agreed to come forward under the condition that we protect his or her identity. Didn't want to hurt anyone. Just love popcorn. It's so buttery. So it was worth it. No comment. How, how, do, you, how do you face the student body after something like that? Shame. Shame? A lot of shame. And I was still kind of hungry. What advice would you give to people who, despite yesterday's event, are still going to make popcorn? Don't trust the microwave popcorn preset. It's not worth it. This event serves as a powerful reminder to all of us at the delicate nature of man. So just remember, when you're eating your snack of choice, be careful. Alexander Palacios, Inside Access. And now, on a completely unrelated note, here's Miss McKelvey with some cooking tips. Hey guys, Miss McKelvey here. I've heard that some people don't know how to use microwaves, so I've offered to come on the Ravens Report and go over some tips. Number one, cover your food. Nobody wants to use a microwave that's been splattered with soup, spaghetti, or whatever else you're eating. Just cover it up. Number two, use microwave safe containers. Glass or ceramic bowls are probably the best choice to make sure that your food cooks in a safe way. Number three, never cook Trader Joe's meatballs in the microwave at work. 
I don't even know who would ever do this, but just take my word for it. That's all the tips I have for you today. Have a great day. That's it for today. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ravens. I'm Nala. And I'm Morgan. Have an epic day and stay classy.